Hi everyone, today I'm going to read a story to you and it is called Too Many Frogs and this story is by Sandy Asher. She's the author so she's the one that wrote the words and the illustrations are by Keith Graves. Remember the illustrations are the pictures in the book. Uh, so I'm going to read this book to you today but before I start I want to tell you that when I am reading today I want you to be thinking about what I'm reading and I want you to think a little bit about what you think is maybe interesting or funny in the book or maybe there's a character that you really like or a character that you don't really like um, any of those kinds of things I just want you to be thinking about what I'm reading and then sometime today I'm gonna have you share that thinking with someone from home so you when I'm done reading you can go tell either maybe mom or dad or grandma or brother or sister or anybody from home um, just that you can tell them about your favorite part or maybe a favorite character okay so be thinking about those things as I'm reading too many frogs rabbit lived by himself in the hollow of an old tree he cooked for himself he tidied up after himself and at the end of each and every day, he read himself a story. It was a simple way of life. No fuss, no clutter. And Rabbit liked it. But one rainy evening, he heard a knock knockety knocking at his door. It's Froggy, croaked a deep voice. Don't care for this storm. Rabbit opened the door. I was about to read myself a story. Love to listen, Froggy cried and hopped right inside. Don't mind, do you? I suppose not, Rabbit said. So Froggy listened while Rabbit read his story. Well done, he cheered when Rabbit had finished. Storms ended too. Thanks for your kindness. Toodaloo. The next evening, as usual, Rabbit finished dinner, tidied up, and sat down to read himself a story. But before he could begin, he heard another knock knockety knocking at his door. It's Froggy, croaked the same deep voice. Rabbit opened the door. I was about to read myself a story. I know, Froggy cried and hopped right inside. Love to listen, but first let's fix ourselves a snack or three. Don't mind, do you? I suppose not, Rabbit said. So Froggy hopped and popped and whipped and flipped and mixed and fixed a snack, or three. Too much fuss, Rabbit thought. So remember, be thinking about a favorite part or an interesting part or a favorite character. But Froggy listened while Rabbit read his story. Well done, he cheered when Rabbit had finished. Snack's gone too. Thanks for your kindness. Toodaloo. The next evening, Rabbit finished dinner, tidied up, and sat down to read himself another story. But before he could begin, there was that same knock, knockety knocking at his door. It's Froggy croaked the familiar voice. Rabbit opened the door. I was about to read, he began. I know, Froggy cried and hopped right inside. About to read yourself a story, love to listen. But first, let's get ourselves all comfy cozy. Don't mind, do you? I suppose not, said Rabbit. So Froggy fluffed and puffed and mooshed and smooshed and piled up billows of pillows. Too much clutter, Rabbit thought. But Froggy listened while Rabbit read his story. Well done, he cheered when Rabbit had finished. Bedtime too, thanks for your kindness. Toodaloo. The next evening, Rabbit finished dinner, tidied up and sat down to read himself a new story. But before he could begin, there was that knock, knockety, knocking again. It's Froggy. Okay, how do you think he's feeling? Oh no. 
Rabbit opened the door. I know, Froggy cried before Rabbit could say a single word. You are about to read yourself a story. Love to listen. But first, meet the family. Been telling them all about you and your stories. Love to join us. Don't mind, do you? Rabbit looked at Froggy's family. Big frogs and little frogs, dozens and dozens, all wearing t-shirts. Frog family reunion. Too many frogs, he thought. Too much fuss, too much clutter. Be thinking about a favorite part of a favorite character. But I do mind, Froggy, he said at last. You do? Froggy asked. I never invited you in, Rabbit explained. I never invited you to fix a snack. I never invited you to get all comfy cozy. And I never invited your family to join you. So I do mind, very much indeed. Uh-oh, croaked Froggy. This will never do. Thanks for your kindness, toodaloo. Alone at last, Rabbit sat down to read himself a story. For one anxious moment, he waited for a knock knockety knocking at his door. It never came. Don't mind, do you? He asked himself with a chuckle. Oh, certainly not, he answered himself and began to read. It was a good story. But something was missing. Snacks make a good story better, he thought. So he fixed himself a snack and read on. It was a very good story. But something was missing. Pillows make a good story better, he thought. So he fluffed himself a pillow and read on. It was an exceptionally good story. But something was still missing. Rabbit blinked once. He blinked twice and then he sighed. It's Froggy, he told himself at last. He loves to listen. Rabbit opened his door. There sat Froggy and his family, waiting patiently to say they were sorry. Never meant to be rude, Froggy said. Brought you a t-shirt, Frog Family Reunion. Thank you, Rabbit said. I was about to read a story. Would you like to join me? Love to listen, cried the frogs. And in they all hopped, big frogs and little frogs, dozens and dozens. Rabbit offered them a snack, or three, and helped them fluff their pillows. Then every frog listened while Rabbit read a story. Well done, they cheered when he had finished. So many frogs, Rabbit thought. So much fuss, so much clutter. It was a different way of life, and Rabbit liked it. the end. So as I was reading, I hope you were thinking about a favorite part or a favorite character. I really liked um, when Rabbit realized that what was missing was Froggy and that he ended up making a really good friend. Um, so maybe that was your favorite part too, or maybe you liked a different part. So sometime today, I want you to share with someone at home either your favorite part of this story or a favorite character. All right, talk to you later.